Hey crafters, thank you so much for stopping by today. It's Allison Haikila and I am a part of the Card Hoppin group that's from Facebook. We originally started in the Handmade Happiness group on Facebook and then we kind of branched off so that each month we can do a YouTube hop that has a theme and a choice of techniques that we can do. And this month the theme is fall and the techniques that we can do is either geometric or retiform. And I'm not really familiar with retiform and I decided I love me some geometric so I'm going with geometric. So I have my gel press plate here. I have this super cool Carabelle Studio art printing plate um, and we're going to use that with some warm colors and then we're going to have a good time with what we're going to do with our print. Now I'm going to try my best to not go crazy and make 500 prints because that's what happens when I start playing with my gel press plate, but we'll see what happens. I might need to edit it down a little bit. So I'm going to start out with some quinacridone nickel azo gold, which is a nice translucent golden color once you start spreading it out. I'm going to add to that some dialide, diary lied yellow. That's a tongue twister, that one. I have a tough time saying that one. I don't want to put too much paint on here. This is just going to be a base layer. I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to roll this out a little bit. You really don't need a lot of paint when you start using your gel press plate. I'm just going to take these extra bits off of here and just rolling this out a little bit, blending those colors just like that. And I'm going to take a piece of copy paper. This is just a nice brand of copy paper. It's not just, I mean, you can use run of the mill, but I like to use kind of a better, thicker, super smooth optic white copy paper just so that my prints come out looking really good. All right, there we go. That's our base layer right there. That's nice. That has a lot of nice different colors in there. Um, I like that it's modeled. It's not perfectly solid. That's going to look really good when we do our next layer with the stamp. Okay, I'm going to just roll off my excess here on the side. And now I think we're going to go in with some green gold. I love green gold. I don't know what it is about this color, but I do love it a lot. Again, I don't want to use too much. And I think we're going to go in with some pyrrole orange. This is a translucent color. You can see from the tick marks that are shown underneath the color. That shows how translucent or opaque a color is. That is too much paint. That just squoze out. Let's scoop some of that back in because that is not going to be... That's not going to be good. So does this happen to you guys too? I'm just going to scoop this back in and then I'm going to just bring some of this color down here like so. That's good. I think this color is mad at me because I haven't used it in a while. Just going to clean that off. Okay. And I think that, I think we'll add a little bit more yellow. Mm. No, you know what? Let's go in with some cadmium red hue and we'll see what we get from there this is probably too much paint but you know it happens okay going back in with my brayer gonna kind of just move these colors around I don't mind if I get a little mud it's okay we're going with a fall theme here I don't mind okay so now I'm gonna roll off my excess onto a different piece of paper roll off prints once you start really layering them, I know you can't really see it on screen right now, but once you start layering them together, they can make some pretty incredible pieces or backgrounds for you to play with. So I'm going to put my printing plate right on here. This is my a texture plate from Carabelle Studios. It has lots of cool geometric shapes on it, and I thought it would be great for either a background or to die cut. So I'm going to lift this off. And there's a lot of paint on here. We'll see if we can get this to kind of work on a piece of paper. Not so much, there's not a whole lot there. But now I'm gonna take this and try to put it right back where I had it before, approximately. And we're gonna just print this on top of that background we made before. pretty cool. All right, I'm going to make one more of these off camera and then we'll see which one we're going to work with. 
So as I suspected, I made a bunch more prints than I needed, but I was having too much fun. So this was the first one that we did, and I added some um, plain backgrounds just so that I could fill up my page a little bit and perhaps use this for our card base. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really like to plan things too much. If you guys have watched me before, you know that I don't really plan too much. So another background here. I just was experimenting with colors. This was with green gold and the Nico Azo green, uh, Nico Azo gold, excuse me. And then this one I added, um, some violet oxide to the Nico Azo gold and some green gold. So that was a fun color combination too. Um, so I have a bunch of prints and I have the beginnings of a really cool roll off print. So when we add more to this at a later date, we'll have some fun stuff that we can play with and cut up and, and all of that good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this up and make this into our background for our card base. And then I have some ideas for how we're going to use our geometric prints that we have here. So I'm going to grab a paper cutter and I'm going to trim this down so that we have our first or our bottom layer, I should say. So this is just about the right width. We're going to make this four by five and a quarter. This way I have a nice border around my card base that I can use for something, whether it be ink or paint or just leave white. So this is a really nice, just one layer print. And now we have, again, these geometrics. And I think what I'd like to do is find the areas that I like most and die cut some of these leaves. And that'll help tie in our fall theme for this card. So I am going to pull out a couple of these. I'd like to use the ones that have a lot of solid areas that are not die cut into. And we're going to just kind of play around with it. See how nice that one is? That's this guy here, I think. Mm, no, it's a little different, but it this one we'll use too. Here we go. That's the one. Because look at all of this open area that we'll have. So like if we want to cut into this spot here or the chevron area, that'll give us a really nice look of geometry. So I'm going to trim some of these out, die cut them, and then we'll start assembling our card. So when I make backgrounds and elements and things like that, I tend to make more than I need, which works out at the end because then I have supplies for another card or tag or scrapbook page. So I definitely have more leaves than I need, but I couldn't decide which parts I wanted to cut, so I cut a bunch. And then I took the liberty to also cut it in black so that I could have this nice stark contrast shadow. But it's just not popping enough. So I decided to cut a couple of hexagons, more geometrics, out of this waffle flower die set. I used the fifth and sixth dies to cut these. One is out of craft, one is out of brown. I glue them together and they are going to go like this. And I'm going to have my my leaf over to the side here because then we're going to put a sentiment. So I have all of these extra leaves that I can use on another card, another tag, whatever. Um, and I like to store them with the dies that made them. So those will be for another time. They all look really cool. Maybe I'll make another card later. I'm not really sure. But for now, we're going to glue this together so that then we can put our sentiment on our hexagon. So I have my Barely Arts glue and I'm going to add some glue to the black leaf just a bit. I'm not going to put any on the side here because that part is going to be exposed because we're going to have it shifted to the side a bit. I'm not stacking it right on top. Originally my thought was that I would stack it directly on top um, just to give it some more substance because we are doing this on a piece of copy paper, right? And, you know, having a little bit more bulk or meat to something is better sometimes, but this is going to just do the job. So that is looking cool. This is already glued. I'm going to stick that on there. Okay. I'm going to place this on here. Now this, again, is copy paper, my base layer which is why it's got a bit of a bow to it, um, but it'll flatten out once we get it onto our card base. 
So I'm not going to glue this just yet. I'm going to leave that for a minute just so that I can make sure that I get my stamps in place properly and I don't have the leaf impeding it at all. So I have this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is called Pick of the Patch. And I'm going to just use the Happy Fall. And I'm going to get that stamped really quick. Okay, this is all glued down. I stamped my Happy Fall with Fallen Leaves from Versafine Claire. And now we're going to add it to our card base and then add some embellishments. So let's get that on there now. It's just a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. And my base layer here that I'm putting adhesive on now is four by five and a quarter so that this way I have a nice border around the edge and I can decide what I want to do with it, if anything at all actually don't mind the white this time which is unusual for me let's get some sequins on here so I have the autumn harvest sparkle blend from doodles paper playground and we're gonna just add a few different sequins on here just to give it a little bit of shine I've got this one right here that has a really cool chevron design on it which is very appropriate for our geometric theme that we have going and I'm just gonna add a few more. There's even a little square in this blend, which I think is perfect too. This one is also great because it's lots of squares. How about a gold? That's kind of fun. I think we need one more though. That's looking pretty good. Okay, I pulled out a few other sequins from the Leaf Peeping Sparkle Blend, and now we're going to just adhere them. I have them going in sort of a diagonal across the card. This helps keep your eye moving a little bit, um, and it just makes it a little bit more interesting. I sometimes struggle with applying my sequins, like where they should go. Um, so doing this diagonal kind of helps a little bit. I'm going to use some on-point glue. I have my pokey tool in one hand. I have my jewel picker in another. And now we're going to quickly apply our sequins. So I pick it up with my jewel picker, squeeze the adhesive, and then put the sequin down with the pokey tool. Whoops, there we go. And this makes quick work of a sometimes tedious job. Because sometimes it's kind of tough to get those sequins to come off of the jewel picker. Whatever brand you use, sometimes it's a little tricky. So using the pokey tool in the same hand that you have your adhesive will help. I put a little bit of adhesive here right in the center so that it would soak down into the sequin. So there we go. The only thing I think I need now is a few flicks of color. So let's do that really quick and then we'll be done. I'm gonna grab fireworks spray in tuxedo black. So this is a a spray that has um, a pearlized, like a mica in here. And we're going to use that. I'm gonna cover up my leaf a bit and I'm gonna flick it on. And I don't really care if it gets onto my background, but I'm gonna to try to just get it on that hexagon predominantly. Actually, it looks pretty good on the background. So we're gonna just go with the whole thing. <laughs> you gotta be able to change gears sometimes, you know? Take what you think you're going to do and shift it as necessary, right? But I do want to try to keep it off of the leaf. There we go. Much better. That's fun. Well, that's it for me. So I'll have the full link list of all of the hoppers below. Um, there'll be photos of this card at the end so that you can see how shiny it is and, and all of that. Um, and I'll be back next month with another one for the card hopping group. And hopefully I'll get some other videos put up in between. So if you like this, please hit the like button. I'll have all of the 
materials that I use listed below if they're still available. I know that the Carabelle Studio plate is not available anymore, but there are some other fantastic ones available. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay well, be safe, peace out.